This year we had a record 2,755 billionaires on the list. And to see at least 40 of those come from companies that had direct ties in fighting COVID was really interesting. Proportionally, it's not that big, but it's such a large number um, of newcomers, not just from healthcare, but specifically from efforts to fight COVID, products to fight COVID. The soaring stock market really helped a lot of healthcare companies in particular. Of course, you have the big names such as Moderna and BioNTech, which worked with Pfizer um, on one of the COVID vaccines. Those companies obviously have been the ones that have been most well known to people around the world because of their work with vaccines. And they were the ones who also uh, minted several billionaires. Beyond that, a lot of other companies in the healthcare space that are publicly traded have done very well. You have uh, makers of PPE, makers of medical equipment and medical devices. You have companies that work with pharmaceutical companies that make vaccines to do clinical trials. So uh, it really sort of runs the gamut of all the different uh, products that healthcare companies have been putting out there. The richest newcomer we had to the list this year from a company that was involved in fighting COVID was Li Jianchuan of Winter Medical, based in Hong Kong. They made billions of masks and millions of protective overalls and gowns for healthcare workers fighting the virus, starting out in China and then, of course, around the world as well. The second richest and probably the best known to have emerged over the past year is Stefan Bansel, who's the CEO of Moderna. And then the third and fourth richest are Yu Fangi of Intco Medical in China, which makes, again, gloves, masks, isolation gowns, and other PPE. And then we have Ur Shahin of BioNTech in Germany, he was the CEO and co-founder of that company, along with his wife, who's also the, the CMO of the company. And they, they partnered with Pfizer to make the first vaccine approved by regulators. Some other interesting people from this list are Tim Springer, who is a Harvard professor and a scientist. And then in 2010, he became a founding investor of Moderna, hasn't sold a single share, and he's become a billionaire off of that investment. And then another person with a similar sort of background to joining the list as Tim Springer is Robert Langer, who is a scientist and professor at MIT who's been dubbed the Edison of medicine for his inventions and development in the space. He also was a founder of Moderna and received shares for that, has never sold a single share, and is also a billionaire thanks to his investment in Moderna.